Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are checking out the Kentrosaurus and uh, this thing's pretty freaking cool. This is coming in the next patch for Ark on the 20... no, it's the 30th of April and it's patch 257. And I'm really excited for this thing. It has some really unique qualities and everything. We're going to be given kind of like a brief preview of this thing today. So if at any point in this video you find yourself liking this video, be sure to beat the crap out of that like button. It really does help me out. And uh, yeah, the Kentrosaurus. I can write it in this like little preview that I'm giving you because it's technically not a Kentrosaurus. It's actually a raptor. <laughs> it's like mapped over a raptor right now. Uh, my good buddy Cheese has made like a, a neat little mod here just to kind of show off all the stuff. So I'm checking out, I'm checking it all out. We're going to be doing more videos and all the other ones as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But the Kentrosaurus, I know it's like really derpy. I'm underneath him. It's so strange. And he keeps derping up into the ground every like five seconds or something. Wait for it. Wait for it. He's going to do it. He's not doing it. Wow. Wow. Okay. Anyway, this is a herbivore. Uh, you cannot ride it normally because of the massive spikes that would really hurt to sit down on and those big plates as well. This is going to be kind of like a very unique creature in Ark because it's going to essentially be a base defense creature. You're going to have a bunch of these guys around your base and they have some sort of like group. I love the way it goes like that. They have some sort of like group, like group, like pack bonus buff type thing where they're going to have some sort of like defense radius. So if you say like this rock right here is my base. I think maybe it's gonna work like you're gonna be able to say like whistle it to like a location or something and that it knows that like to stay in around that spot so the more of them you have the further they can go out and they're gonna kind of like defend the whole area these things are gonna be devastating to any carnivores or anything attacking your base because of those massive spikes they can pierce through armor which is gonna make them really handy in raids or even like defending from raids um, as well as the fact that they can also probably like it says something about impaling the creature I'll chuck the dossier open the screen right now so you guys can see So as you can see there there's the dossier and as you can see in the top left hand corner It has like it looks like a raptor or something impaled on the tail This thing is probably gonna have some sort of bleed effect that it puts onto your creatures when it hits them. Oh Man, it's gonna be absolutely mental. So Taming one of these things could be a bit of a challenge because you could get impaled and like that I, I'd say what it will do is it will probably be almost like a one or two hit like maybe one hit and you'll have a broken leg Another hit and you'll just be dead So taming one of these things could be very very difficult because they are very dangerous um, So as you can see in the rest of the dossier there uh, in the bottom left hand corner or the bottom right hand corner Sorry, there is a like the tameable like little strap thing that means tameable there's a saddle with an x that means non-rideable and then you can see the heart where it has like a like a piercing through the heart so i believe that means that it can do some sort of bleed damage as well um i'm not exactly sure what that little symbol means but uh yeah i from what i gather it's gonna have some sort of bleed uh effect or something like that probably similar to like the allosaurus so as well i'm kind of putting in a little bit of a prediction here this thing the spikes are gonna act as like spiked walls in arc so you're gonna be able to have a bunch of these things around your base and uh kind of just use them to defend your whole area pretty much um as you can see like this one i'm on right now like don't trust the speed or the exact size of this thing though it probably it could be in around the same size as this it's supposed to be smaller than a stego uh we'll, we'll go over and actually check that out right now so don't trust the size or speed or anything to do with this thing right now because it is not final, obviously. So let's put them right up beside the stego really quick and check out the size difference. As you can see, it's dwarfed to the stego. The stego is much bigger. Um, though obviously the stego is pretty good, you know, the stego is pretty good. It's pretty dangerous in general. Um, though I guess when you're on like a large creature it's not really much of a threat but early game it can be quite quite a bit of a threat if you actually hit one of them um so like this guy right here it's probably going to be a little bit quicker I'd say probably a little bit quicker and it's going to be a lot stronger okay that's the that's the good part it's going to be really strong because of those spikes um it's going to be really good for like everything defending raiding like everything and then just going around the island as well I bet this thing can probably handle itself a little bit so let's actually bring it up beside this trike right here and just check it out. <laughs> it's so weird how it derps out. So as you can see, like it's it's a lot smaller than a trike. 
Uh, it really is. And we're actually on a little bit of a slope right here. So like we're on the taller part and it's still a lot smaller than a trike. So it's kind of like the, if you're going to go like herbivores, it's kind of like pretty much like this guy, trike, and then the stego. And I don't know what's, maybe a parasaur is like below this guy on the scale, but uh, kind of insane how small this thing is. And it's going to be really devastating. It's probably going to be really quick, maybe maybe as fast as a trike, maybe faster. Um, but then again, like it's just going to be really good for like pretty much everything PvP. And uh, it's going to be, oh my god, I can't wait for it. It looks really cool, by the way. The spikes, the plates, the everything about this thing. It just, oh, I can't wait, honestly. What do you guys think about this thing? I really do like it. Um, it doesn't actually have this current version that I'm on right now. It doesn't actually have any attacks if I'm, I'm hitting the buttons. Nothing happens. I wonder, actually, if I level it, does anything happen? Wait, he was derped out a second ago. No, he doesn't even have, like, a cuddle animation or anything. So yeah, this is like a really early version of it. Um, it doesn't have any of the attacks or anything, but they are actually in the dev kit. So maybe at some point we will check those out. But uh, yeah, that is the Kentrosaurus, guys. Um, that's probably gonna be it for today. I don't really wanna drag this out too much longer. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to beat the crap out of that like button. If you guys wanna see more like this, you know what to do, you can subscribe. And uh, yeah, make sure that you guys check out the other videos I'm gonna be throwing up of all the other creatures. And uh, see you guys next time.